Yeah, man. What if I told you that you could take a song and extract the instrumental and the acapella from it without any prior knowledge on programming or advanced shit and stuff like that? What if I told you you could even separate the drums from a track? Well, what if I told you right now this is the truth? This is the exciting times of technology that we are living in right now. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Let us go. Go to melody.ml <coughs> All right, let us do this thing. This is so easy that I don't know how, what else is this many easy, you know what I'm saying? So let's just do it right away. First, we're gonna enter our email here. <coughs> email. Because that's where they're gonna send the files. Okay, ready. Now we have two options right here. We can either choose to break the song into vocals, drums, instruments, and other, or vocals and instrumental. For this purpose right here, all I need is vocals and instrumental. So I'm gonna do just that. Then we press upload MP3. Now let's see what happens. Starting upload right now. Anticipation right now is pretty immense. Now it's gonna take some time. You just let it process right there. And you can see also here, we got two credits for this. So it's not unlimited. If you want to do it as much as you want, get into how to do it with Python using Spleeder in the real way, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put a link right below here to a really good tutorial on how to do that if, you're, if you wanna get into the Python programming way of doing it. It's very exciting. It's not that hard. It's very good for beginner's level programming you know what I'm saying you're not gonna have to actually program anything yourself just follow some steps and get a little bit more understanding of how it works like I said this is based on machine learning so also another very dope thing about this is you can upload your own stems and teach this machine to identify better the different elements of the song so it's just gonna improve and improve I don't know what this is gonna sound like right now but let's try it out skip ahead Finished. Let us unpack this zip file. I downloaded the zip file. We unpack it. Pack it up, pack it in. Open audio. Here we have it. Our instrumental is called accompaniment and our vocals are called vocals. <laughs> Who would have thought? Let's see how they sound. Let me back it up on your homie waistline. So give me real back shot and no FaceTime. Yeah, it doesn't sound really good at all. Sounds pretty much like the acapellas you get when you download a low quality acapella that's not an official one. And uh, my guess is this is the more or less the same technique they use when they make those. For me, this is good enough because we just need a backtrack. We need some of these ad libs to put in on a low volume under the main instrumental because we already have the instrumental but we don't have the backtrack for it so for purposes like that it's perfect for grabbing pieces out of it and sampling it and twisting stuff up from songs this could be a very fun thing to experiment with i think it's pretty amazing i mean i've been dreaming great <coughs> i've been dreaming of something like this since i was a kid <laughs> pretty much so it's astonishing and i can't wait to see how far this goes I'm guessing that it's just gonna get better from here on. Amazing. I want to give a big one shout out to Dragonite on the Discord for putting me on to this. Thank you very much. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can join us if you want to be part of the black hole and join our weekly beat competition challenges and all of that. Go ahead. Just click the link below and get your Discord on. You know, whatever. You know the deal, right? The Popo. I'm going to put some nice links below for other tutorials if you want to get into Python and do the real technological computer programming way of doing it with Deezer and Spleeder. Also, I w we have to put all of our thank you to the developers behind this. So check out the GitHub and, you know, maybe give a little token of appreciation to the people behind this. Also, Zaire told me that there's another way to do it using Isotopes Ozone RX7. So there's a few ways you can do this. Pros of doing it on your computer with a Python script is that you're gonna get a WAV file output. And the sound quality is gonna be a little bit better. Granted, it is still gonna be grainy and sounding pretty much like this. You're not gonna be able to tell a big difference, but if you want a little quality increase, go for it. Thank you everybody for watching. Number love. Okay, bye-bye.